Hello everyone, FunshineX here. Welcome back to Computercraft EDU Tutorials. This is part two. If you've not seen part one, I urge you to go check it out and see you'll get an introduction to Computercraft EDU, what it is, how to install it, how to use it, that kind of thing. Today we're going to cover the remote control. This will be a very quick tutorial because there's not a lot to the remote control. And we may show a little bit more um, of the visual editor at the end. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the remote control. We covered out both how to craft it and how to equip it in part one. Then you're going to approach a turtle. Let's go use Leo here. And uh, you want to step out of his way. If we step in front of him, we're going to get in his way. So I guess, I guess we'll start in front of him just to uh, do it. And click the bottom tab here, which is the remote. And you're going to see the turtle. Now I have all these buttons here that I can control Leo uh, and tell him what to do. But if I try to tell him to move forward, oh, he's going to push me. <laughs> okay, never mind. I did not know turtles could do that. I, turtles now push players uh, that do not just report an error that something is in the way. That is really cool. So if we need our turtle to push us, uh, there we go. I want to also test if we can ride turtles. So let's... No, you cannot ride a turtle. Oh, well. <laughs> so we're going to move him forward and move him forward. And oh, where'd he go? Now we can't see him. It's kind of a little bit difficult because you have to right click on the turtle to access him. And then that your camera is going to be locked in that position um, for the rest of the time. So now he's out of our view. We have no idea what he's doing. Luckily, there's this nice thing called show turtle vision. And we're going to click on that. And now we are seeing what the turtle is seeing. So now when we move forward, we can drive up here. And here we have a wall of dirt. And if I try to hit forward, I'm going to get an error. And it's going to say movement obstructed. If I want to continue, I need to just clear that error by hitting the red square there. And uh, I can undo. No, that's not going to change anything. Because <laughs> that's only with the programming. So these bottom two buttons don't worry about. We're just going to use the remote control. So we covered the move forward. Remember, you can move forward. You can push players. You cannot go through uh, a solid block here. Okay. Next thing we can do, we can turn to the right. Look, I can see myself. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And we can turn to the left. And we can also move backwards. Again, if you run into something, you're going to get an error. Let's go see what was behind us. More dirt. So if we want to get around something, we'll just move up. There we go. We can go fly. Turtles can fly. And while I'm doing this, I'll go ahead and explain that turtle cr turtles in Computercraft EDU do not take any form of power. So if you're familiar, familiar with the full version of Computercraft, there's a config option to turn power requirements on or off, and you need to like give them f coal or lava or something to fuel them, and if they run out, you know, there's all these problems. So uh, the EDU ones you do not have to worry about. They can travel infinitely. All right, so we've flown up. Now we can go down. All right, that's pretty much everything. Let's say we want to do something to this tree. Well, we're going to need to turn right, move forward, turn left, and park ourselves right under this tree. Okay, let's move down so we're at the base of the tree. Now we have the dig option. This one, you need to have a turtle with a tool. If I click it here, it's going to say program no tool to dig with. So I'm going to go ahead and hit stop. I'm going to out of turtle vision and it escapes to get back to my character. And let's go ahead and break. Oop, I'm in creative mode. All right, we're here in survival. So we'll put a turtle here. Let's give him a diamond shovel. There he goes. He's got a shovel. Let's give him this one a sword. Let's give this guy up both a pickaxe and a hoe. Will he have both? No, he will not. What if we go to a crafting table and put one on the right, one on the left? There we go. So you can have two tools. He's got a right hand and a left hand. If we put him down, now this guy could both hoe the ground and he could also mine. Now you don't really need to worry about the type of tool. Um, basically, a pickaxe can pick, you know, destroy any block. Um, it won't do silk touch, but it will, you know. Um, chop down trees, it'll dig dirt, anything like that. So most of the time you're going to want to put just a, a pickaxe on him. But if you want to hoe the dirt, that's a little bit different. You want to put a, a, a hoe. So usually this is the turtles I go with. I want them an all-purpose turtle. Give him a pickaxe to dig and a hoe to till. And then he's good. And just to verify that we can put weaker tools on them. No, we cannot. Must be a diamond tool. Okay. 
was just checking. I figured with Computergraph EDU, maybe he had changed it so you can make cheaper tools, but no, that's not the case. All right, we're going to put Leo back in his spot. Oops, nope, we're in. Yeah, it's fine. Here, turn around, Leo. Thank you. And we're going to use this um, this new turtle we have to mine down this tree. So let's go into turtle vision, turn to the right, to right again, left. Uh, it's a little bit difficult because you cannot straff. So if you want to move over, you have to <laughs> turn and up. Oh, didn't, didn't line it up again. There we go. All right, now we're lined up with this tree. Let's drive up to it again and click the dig because this time it has dug the block instantly and uh, put it in his inventory. So we click over here, we can see he's got the oak wood in his inventory. Uh, there's 16 slots he can hold, and the current selected slot has this little um, ring around it, and that's where he'll try to put items. So if I move this one over, and then we go, oops, come back turtle, I need to access you. Uh, back to the remote, move him up, and dig again. You can see he's not gonna try and stack the two together, he's just gonna put it as current selected. If this gets full or overflow, then it would just use the next slot, so you don't have to worry about changing the inventory slots. It'll just try and fill up whatever is available. Okay, then we can just keep going up. So we'll go up, dig, up. Oh no, we've hit an obstacle. <laughs> As you can see here, he's got leaves above him. This is a limitation of the remote control. There's no way to dig anywhere but in front of you. So if I wanted to continue with this tree, I would have to move back a couple times, move up, dig, <laughs> move forward, dig, move forward, and dig, and then keep doing that. So kind of impractical, but really this is just to get you to the um, use to what turtles can do, you know, because some of their basic operations. Um, we will get the full range of turtle functionality once we go into the visual editor. All right. This is also kind of helpful if you like to visually think about your program. Like, okay, what do I want the turtle to do? I want to move forward, turn left, move forward five times. You know, you can kind of test how he's going to interact. So let's finish this tree and get the last block here. All right. And then move down. I'm going to turn to the right and go all the way down, oops, all the way down to the ground. One thing turtles are very useful for, useful for is they can dig a mine and they can uh, fit in a one by one space. So I don't have to create a long cavern. Oops, <laughs> I've already dug down here, so let's uh, turn left and go this way. But now you can use them to explore and look for uh, minerals. So you can't go up or down unless you find a cave that opens up because obviously I can't dig above me or dig below me. But I can look through the mountain and see if there's any caves and go hunting for diamonds this way just to look around. Yeah, and I'm out. There we go. Let's go look at our tunnel that we created. Cool. <laughs> All right, and the last thing we have that we haven't covered is place block. What that's going to do is go to his inventory, find out whatever his block is in the selected slot. So we're going to place this oak wood. And we can go ahead and cover in our tunnel. There we go. We can only place it in front of us. Same thing as the dig. And uh, if we run out of stuff in the... Oops. <laughs> if there's something already placed there, we're going to get an error. And if we run out of stuff, is it going to give us an error? Yeah. No items to place. So that's the two potential errors you can get when placing a block. Is that there's no items. And then, uh, in the visual, um, I mean, in the remote control, there's no way to select a different inventory slot. So you just have to move it over if you want to place something else. There we go. What's really cool about turtles is this is a great way to place blocks in the air. A lot, you know, in Minecraft, a lot of times, unless you have a mod that adds angel blocks, you can't really place mods in the air. But I can just go up to wherever I want and uh, just turn around here. Make sure we, oh, there we go. There's the dirt. And I go back to normal vision. And look, the turtle has placed a block of dirt somewhere up there. There he is, <laughs> flying in the air. So that's pretty cool. Um, maybe you're making a tree farm and you've got to place glass up on top or some kind of block on top so the trees don't turn into the giant oaks. Well, use a turtle to do it because he can drive up there, place a block for you, and come back down. Cool. 
Well, that's pretty much it for the visual, or I mean, for the remote control, guys. Next time, we're going to cover this visual editor. And you can see a lot of these same icons we're going to find in this visual editor. You know, move forward, move back, turn left, turn around. But if we put them over onto the canvas, let me create a new program here. Um, something like the, the dig. Remember it was limited? Well, look, if we put it here, we've got three different digs. Now we can dig up and dig down. This is grayed out because the turtle does not have a dig tool. So that's why we can't use this in this program. So it's pretty helpful. The visual editor will let us know if we're screwing up. <laughs> but you can see now that we have, you know, all those remote control commands plus their, you know, versions that go up or down. There's nothing ever in a turtle that goes behind them. It's always either above, in front, or below. And there's some other things, you know, like um, with place block, we can uh, want to select which slot. So there's all these other ones that say, you know, select which slot and, and count how many items are in our inventory. We can attack with, if we have a sword equipped, we can uh, set redstone signals. So stay tuned for part three, where we will cover um, an overview of the visual editor. And then in part four, we're going to go through and make sure you guys know how to use every single um, block in here and know how, what its purpose is. So by the end of that part, you'll be able to make a nice program in the visual editor and your turtle will be completely automated. You can do things like cut down trees, go caving, um, suck up lava, use it as a mob farm, um, make a quarry, all the kind of stuff that you would want to automate this turtle can do. And I'll show you how to do it in the next episode. If you guys like this episode, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter at FunshineX. And I will hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Check out ComputerCraft.edu on the ComputerCraft.info forums. Um, I've linked it in my Twitter and also in the description below. See you guys next episode. This has been FunshineX. Bye.